According to American sociologist William Julius Williams, the person who scores well on the SAT will not necessarily be the best doctor, the best lawyer, the best businessman. These tests do not measure character, leadership, or creativity. So what does make the best doctor? How can we ensure we as patients are getting the best quality of care? According to the National Library of Medicine and the Association of Medical Colleges, the best way to do this is to establish ethics and medical humanities training for future healthcare physicians. Healthcare professionals should be required to have medical humanities and ethics training before becoming doctors. This would help establish more beneficial patient doctor patient relationships, how, show how to approach controversial topics, and help with teaching proper self care methods for the doctors to avoid physician burnout rates. The, these should be focused, these have been long taught in undergraduate and graduate schools alike. However, they are highly irregular and not required by all. They should be taught in these should be standardized to help benefit doctor-patient relationships. In 1985, the DeCamp Report first argued for focusing these things on the, focusing these training classes during the undergraduate and then moving to medical and residency training. Doctors would be more understanding, moral, and comfortable if they had this training. More emotionally and socially adapted equals more better patient care. This way they could emphasize, emphasize, emphasize with their patients and it would also show what reactions to expect out of the patients. This way the doctors would not be thrown off guard and the patients would not feel like their reactions were invalid. According, being a doctor is so much more than just providing physical care. It is also the emotional care and support Study, according to a study done at Georgetown Medical Center by Daniel Solmacy and Eric Marks, there is a correlation between doctor competence in their patient care and medical humanities training. Before receiving ethics training, they rated themselves a 3.3 out of 5 on a scale of competence with patients. After receiving ethics training, they, were, they rated themselves as a 3.8. This may not seem like a huge issue, but any difference is monumental and critical when dealing with patient care. They additionally rated um, the need for ethics training before and after receiving it. Before receiving the ethics training, they rated it as 57%. After, they related it as 80%. This shows that ethics training is very valuable. In addition to better patient reactions, Ethics and humanities training would lower physician burnout rate and shine light on very important issues. The issues focused on should be issues that they will see in day-to-day -day patient care. However, most medical humanities classes right now have been shown to focus on what they call neon issues. These are issues that are widely in the news and highly controversial. These are issues such as abortion, physician assistant suicide, and global health. The issues that should be focused on are more comprehensive issues that will be seen in everyday life. Issues are such as what to do when families disagree on patient care, how to deal with patient care mistakes, and self-care. According to a study done at New Mexico University, doctors reported what they needed the most help on in, patient, in dealing with patient care. The three that were the big, that reported as the biggest were report, how to report medical mistakes, coping with medical mistakes in patient care, and dealing in balancing work and per, personal life. According to Troy Parker, writer for American Medical Association, physician burnout rate is an, an incredibly big problem. This is especially true for physicians at the front line. This is because it is hard to cope with the grief that comes with witnessing traumatic events. Getting training on how to cope with these before they actually deal with it is a huge 
step that would be very important to future physicians. And learning about it before they're actually in the position would help them deal with it in advance. Because of these statistics and facts, medical humanities training and ethics training should be implemented for future healthcare professionals. There should be an established protocol that is widespread to ensure that all doctors are getting the same ethics training. It should be comprehensive and beginning an undergraduate. This way, they could show, they could see future issues that they may face to make sure that they truly are ready for healthcare. This could be implemented very, or integrated very easily into the policy. It could be a prerequisite course, just as biology is a prerequisite course for pre pre-physician programs. This should also extend into medical and residency training. This way they can stay up to date on current controversial events. This, test, this testing should also be standardized. It has, they should be held to the same ethics standards across the board. Healthcare professionals should be required to have ethics and humanities training because it will better the doctor-patient relationships improve self-care, and show how to deal with controversial issues. Studies have shown the importance across time. If you want the best physicians, nurses, and doctors, demand that proper and standardized ethics training be employed.